Tesla has added a cool self-diagnostics feature and I'm going to tell you how that feature works. Tesla Audrey has tweeted something saying, I finally saw the new self-diagnostics feature in action with Tesla app iOS and I discovered in the source code of the app a few weeks back. He says, scheduling a service for certain categories, if you need to take your Tesla to service, but scheduling a service for certain categories triggers the diagnostics to inform you if a full is present and if service is required that's very cool because sometimes we make mistakes and in vain take our cars to diagnostic centers or to service centers without knowing that the car doesn't need any service and there is no fault so Tesla has added a new self-diagnostics feature to its app as it works to ensure that most of its vehicles receive service as soon as possible active activating this feature can speed up the detection of issues in the vehicle before it reaches the appointment, which saves wasted service time. This means Tesla service is going to greatly improve and your time is going to improve. Tesla launched a new and extremely useful feature for owners and the company um, uh, self-diagnostics. It has become available to Tesla owners in the company's app, which is becoming an increasingly advanced tool for the manufacturer and its customers. I mean, how many other company uh, owners have uh, apps? I have couple of other cars and I don't have any apps from the manufacturer in my cars. So a few weeks ago, Tesla Adri Twitter user and Tesla underscore app underscore iOS user found it in the source code and have now noticed that it has been added with a new update. Now, if you use the Tesla app, uh, app have you seen this Tesla self-diagnostics? Let me know how it works and if you have, had, have had any experience with this, friends. Service scheduling for certain categories triggers diagnostics diagnostics and informs owners if there is a problem and service is needed, explained Tesla Audrey in a tweet. In fact, this feature was previously available to Tesla employees and has apparently now been given wider access. This is most likely part of a broader initiative by the company to speed up customer service in service centers, as Elon Musk previously spoke about. For 10 years, Tesla has placed great emphasis on manufacturing. However, now that two mass-produced vehicles, the Model 3 and Tesla Model Y, have been designed and built and about 3 million vehicles have been delivered in the market, the company must focus on maintaining its fleet. The new feature can help save a lot of time for owners and Tesla service employees. Before scheduling a visit to the service center, the car will be able to determine the problem itself, which is great. Thus, the system will already contain information about what the employee needs to pay attention to during the visit, which can save quite a lot of time. In addition to this, the client will be able to quickly and independently find out what the problem is with his or her car in order to evaluate the plan of action. In addition, some detected problems can be fixed with a software update, which can happen remotely, meaning that the car does not even even need to be delivered to a service center. When Elon Musk said that Tesla was working to get most of its vehicles in North America to be serviced on the same day, it was unclear how the company could achieve this. Now that self-diagnostics is launched, it becomes obvious that it will play one of the key roles in this. Well, friends, now it's your time. Let me know what do you think about this self-diagnostics new feature. I kind of like it a lot because it's going to help a lot of people, going to save a lot of time for you Tesla owners and to Tesla service center. This is also going to improve the Tesla service center because in the past years we have seen a lot of complaints about Tesla service centers and the lagging times of service. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Hey, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you go. Let's stay in touch and give us thumbs up, like this video and uh, also please uh, uh, ring the bell after you subscribe and God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you and I'll see you soon in our next uh, 
uh, report. I'll look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. Tesla has a new plan to extend Giga Texas. There are filings that show that. So Tesla is planning to expand Gigafactory Texas, its newest electric vehicle production plant that is located just outside Austin city limits. Filings show. Tesla is planning to build on a 68.11 acre plot of land located adjacent to the factory's main property with plans for industrial use facilities with associated improvements. The filings stated. I will have the link to the filings in the description of this video, friends. First reported by Austin Business Journal, the project is listed as a production support area. Production support area for Giga Texas. And and not many other details are known currently. Just that much as the filing show Tesla is still working through the approval process of this expansion of Giga Texas. Tesla has been purchasing additional land, submitting plans for expansion and working to broaden Gigafactory Texas and its entire footprint. In late June, Tesla filed to expand Gigafactory Texas by 500,000 square feet, friends, working on expanding the central uh, general Assembly 2 and General Assembly 3. Uh, this followed February filings that showed a 220,000 square foot warehouse was planned on site with construction beginning in June with a BESS system, best system to support energy generation and storage, probably for Giga Texas. Giga Factory Texas is said to be Tesla's most complete manufacturing facility in its lineup of production plans. Not only will it build Tesla's most recent and advanced vehicles, but it will also produce the cells that make them the most advanced vehicles, the 46AD battery cells. It's a massive facility and it can fit 194 billion hamsters and is three times the size of the Pentagon. It is also the second largest building in the world by volume. Tesla has been delivering Model Ys from Gigafactory Texas since the company's Cyber Rodeo event in early April. What do you think, friends? I think this is very exciting that Tesla is expanding Gigafactory, taking it to the next level. Now, uh, I think uh, we will look forward to see what is coming uh, to this new uh, expansion, what Tesla will be building at Gigafactory Texas, uh, the new expansion, maybe expand the battery. But what do you think will be that adjacent support? You know, like I said, the filing stated that um, unlocated this location is adjacent to the factory's main property with plans for industrial use facilities with associated improvements, the filing said. And like I said, for reported by Austin Business Journal, the project is listed as a production support area. Now, what can this mean? What production support can provide Tesla? Battery, the Tesla is already building the battery plant at Gigafactory Texas. What other production support do you think this area can provide for Giga Texas? Let me know, friends, in your comments. Uh, I'll look forward to reading your comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up, like, this video please and share in social media thank you very much for all your support god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report